YouTube channel Nelly the Coder. Today in this lecture we're going to be talking about components architecture and ReactJS. That's basically the second principle that ReactJS is built on. So if you remember in the previous lectures we talked about our different paradigms and we talked about imperative paradigm and then the declarative paradigm and then we talked about DOM manipulation that's been handled by React. So that is basically the first principle that made React so popular. And so it's basically uh, handling efficiently the DOM manipulation and it's not being handled by the browsers anymore. So that's basically the first key thing. The second thing that we're going to be talking about is uh, components architecture and ReactJS. So we learned that React had this revolutionary idea of handling the DOM updates because it had the, the best way to do it uh, and, the most, uh, and, and the most efficient way. And the uh, next big thing that uh, then, or we can say that the, the next big game changer was this idea of building websites like legal blogs this is basically the component architecture of a website. React is basically designed around the concept of reusable components, just like you see in this app, uh, how each square or rectangle has different colors. And um, well, these the, these compon these are all called components. Each of these individual pieces create this whole application. React had this idea of small components that you put them together to form bigger components. So you had the profile picture component, for example, and you had eight post component over here, and um, then you had the navigation component. So you had a component in here uh, with that, that was surrounded by another component that was surrounded by even ever bi even bigger component, just like you know legal blocks and all these small components, whether they are larger but can be used in different places. For example, I can have this component uh, just copy the word to multiple locations because while they are the small thing and I can even move these over to different projects and reuse them. So you can say, for example, I can just use a profile um, a component somewhere in, in here in the application or wherever I want to. So maybe, uh, for example, let's say that this profile picture has been used in the friend list and you can see the profile pictures of the friends over here. This, that might be a same component used by the Facebook as well. But yeah, this is a, just an example. So people, the, the key idea is that people can build these components like material UI uh, components that um, we could just copy and paste this code and uh, make use of it in our project. So for example, we can have different um, components where we can see different components over here like autocomplete button and then checkboxes, radio and all that. You can just see how this uh, uh, each of them works and then you can get the code of it. So you, you can see this is not basically um, an HTML, it's basically a JSX which has been used in React and you can see different properties over here and um, you can use the whole API of this. You can simply just copy this code, paste it in your project, and boom, this, this is gonna work. So yeah, and uh, we also have uh, different components libraries like uh, React Bootstrap, and so people can share these components across different websites, across different projects, and they will all work. So now this idea of components in React is simple, in simple term, it's just plain JavaScript functions that we write. So we have state of our app, and that is any data that describes our app. So for example, uh, the user is logged in, whether it is true or false, and maybe friends, then components are created based on that data, well, simply as functions. So basically components uh, components are basically uh, functions in, uh, in React.js uh, that receive some sort of input or attributes, which we call properties, which call, uh, here we are calling them props. And, and return it, um, it returns JSX that kind of look like HTML but inside of JavaScript. And these components can build like this as a function or even uh, as a class that we'll just discuss in later videos. But the key here is just to, uh, to um, uh, explain uh, what, what are components and what is component architecture and React. Uh, Based on the state and these components that we built, we have an entire component that we can add to our page and reuse anywhere in the page that we want. So our a React application will be built upon small, small components and then we can 
combine all of those small components like the navigation bar profile the cover picture the post the and then uh, each individual post and the image gallery we can combine all of these components and create a whole page or or whole component uh, so that's basically it uh, so again this idea of a component architecture means that uh, we can have some sort of data about our application and we build these components ourselves and these uh, components are what we call react components that we built out of our html tags that signify a component and each of these components works together to eventually have our app and this component architecture is really really key in react because it allows us to reuse and share components between projects so that if you wanted to uh, for example a dead picker so you don't have to do to build it yourself you can just go to for example uh, the material ui website and just pick it from here or any other website that uh, and you can use somebody else's code and you don't have to write everything from scratch so that's all about the component architecture and um, there are two more key concepts to go through so yeah let's do that in the next video